And many students are interested in the distinction between a rehabilitation counsellor and a case manager. How would okay. you see that distinction? Look, yeah. um, it's a very important point. Um, a rehab counsellor, as I mentioned earlier, is an allied health professional. Okay, so they're recognised as a professional and under the heads of workers' compensation authorities, which is HAUCA, um, they actually stipulate that as one of the, I think, 10 or 11 professions, okay, in their return to work jurisdiction, in the kind of work cover um, return to work jurisdiction. So it's important to note that it is a distinct profession, whereas a, a, a case manager or a rehabilitation consultant can be, can be an allied health professional, can be a rehab professional, counselling professional, but not necessarily. So you can't assume that someone who's got the title rehab consultant is a bona fide rehab counsellor. Uh, they, they could be from the allied health area, so it could be a physio and OT, but it could also be someone who's worked their way up the ranks or in an admin role. So they may not have the recognised qualifications or background to actually practice as a rehab counsellor, which is the profession. So there is a distinction between the two. And rehab, rehab counselling has been a profession recognised over the last 40 years in Australia. And generally, I think universally, uh, uh, internationally, since the 50s, mid 50s. Thank you, Michael. Greg. Uh, yeah, thanks, um, Paul, and thanks, Michael. Rehabilitation counselling is a profession invented by the Americans in the 50s. After all their soldiers came back a lot of them were injured, a lot of industry had changed. The American government put a massive amount of money and just created a new profession. They're in every big hospital in America. They're very highly regarded as part of the, the hospital team. In Australia, the rehab counsellor is not in the hospital. They're not a hospital therapist. They're in the community. That's, that's a big difference. Mm. For the first time ever, we've got two people covertly rehab counselling in a hospital in Sydney. Oh. Or in three hospitals, mm -hmm. and we're just evaluating it, and it's it's going to be it's been going very well. But mm -hmm. at the moment, all the jobs in rehab counselling are in the community. I, I might just add there too that uh, case management is actually uh, one of the skills or an inherent part of mm. the rehabilitation counsellor's mm. day um, and our profession, and so it's 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 very necessary to be a very efficient and effective case manager. Um, and that describes more around the coordination mm. role that mm. you have. Uh, I, and I think the distinction that plays out with uh, understanding that it's a profession in and of itself is, you know, having a background that helps you to um, appreciate the evidence and translate that into practice, but also um, having a background where you understand the mechanisms of injury, illness, disease and recovery um, and are able to incorporate that, that background knowledge and orientation into being assisting somebody with a particular set of circumstances to, to navigate their way through recovery and return to work. Sure. Um, so it, it, it is a very important part, but it's, it, 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 case management is a discipline all on its own. Sure. Yeah.